Hello and welcome back to another episode of Overtime. I'm your host, Timmy Carlisle, alongside Josh Aponte and Maddox Miller. Gentlemen, we have a crazy week of sports to yes, talk about Absolutely. as we get into the opening of the baseball season mm -hmm. and then the postseason for basketball and hockey. Yeah. Yes. Guys, how are we feeling about the Guardians? Let's start Dude, there. hey, best record in the MLB says it right there on the screen. And uh, I'm very excited for this team. You know, kind of a bummer that Shane Bieber went down. Uh, that kind of sucks. But you, you know what? See the news about Tristan McKenzie, too? No, what does happen? He's I, pitching on a UCL tear gosh. after last season. Should have got the Tommy John, in my yeah. opinion. But you know what? That's That might be why he's not pitching as good as he uh, was. Definitely is. Definitely is. I was very confident with him probably being our ace yeah. going into this season. Yeah. But uh, he, he, he has been looking a little iffy so far. But honestly, our offense is low-key producing. Naylor, Ramirez, Quan, even some of the other guys are producing as well. So I'm very excited. Maddox, no, you? yeah, the pitching, and I feel like we've, every time we've talked about the Guardians, we've, I at least have reiterated this point where it is the opposite of what we expected, yeah. where the, off, the bats are alive. Like, the, yeah. other than the shutout against Boston, which, yeah. like, you win some, you lose some. Yeah. Uh, it's not always home runs. Tyler That's Beatty. That's a great pitching matchup right there. Yeah, but like Tyler Beatty, uh, Tristan McKenzie, Logan Allen, and Tanner Bybee. Bybee we thought was going to continue his hot streak. All have an ERA above uh, 450. Yeah. So, but then we have guys like Gabriel Arias who has completely like come back and taken everything by storm. Uh, he's fifth in team batting average. Um, so while the guys, Ramirez is hitting a little slower than I thought he would, but he's still getting a lot of RBIs. Yep. Uh, Naylor can still hit tanks. Yep. Uh, Quan gets on base. He's going to get on base every game pretty much. Um, I think I'm just a little concerned about this pitching, the bullpen. We almost, Guardians were up 5-1 against the Sox, and then it turns into a 5-4 game yep. because of the pitching, and you're yep. kind of like, oh, what are we doing here? Uh, I think... A, a series coming up is the Oakland Athletics. That's going to be a nice, like, refresher. Let's go, let's go uh, get some batting practice in against the Athletics. Uh, <laughs> some batting practice. And let's see if we can, you know, maybe get a series sweep, unlike we were, unlike the Guardians were able to uh, last time we played. Yeah. Exactly. All right, time for me to step up to the plate here. So a few step things. Up to the plate. I'm absolutely <laughs> loving Vogue's decisions as we move forward. Couple of pinch hitting home runs. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. absolutely. We yeah. haven't had a pinch hitting home run since Jason Giambi in 2013. That's insane. So like that is absolutely wait, not Jason Giambi. My goodness, who was the? Uh, oh my goodness, I'm blanking. On Brandon that. Geyer? No, no, no. Rajay Davis? No, no. We think in guards are Indians history. Guardians. Guards? 2013. 13? Walk off, home run, pinch hit. Still try. It's all right. I uh, think it was Giambi. I think I'm really? just blanking on yeah. my uh, stats. I watched it happen. So. Really? Yeah. I went wow. back and found that. So we had back-to-back -back games with it happening. Yeah. Yes. So that is absolutely nuts. Yeah. And then the other part about the Guardians, we are always in the last inning have a chance to win the game. Whether yeah. the bat is in yeah. our hands or we're within one, mm -hmm. we have the runner in scoring position. Yeah. Just like last year under Tito, mm -hmm. things are carrying over. Yeah. Absolutely ridiculous so far what we've seen. Mm -hmm. Obviously, pitching, big injury, that hurts a lot. Yeah. yeah. But the bats are there. We're hitting home runs. That's yeah, no. That's what's it, keeping us in the game so yeah. far. It, uh, the Guardians haven't been, at least off the top of my head, the Guardians have not been blown out. Mm -hmm. There hasn't been a game where you're just like, oh my goodness, like what is going on? Yeah. There's been moments where uh, White Sox shoot up to like a four or five run lead and you're like, well, this is We're gonna, this is yeah. gonna explode. But then the next inning or throughout the game, they cut it back. No. They, there hasn't been a game that they cannot win. Mm -hmm. And I think that is why they are succeeding so well because they're also, performing really clutch. They've won in extra innings multiple times. They've walked it off multiple times yeah. in extra innings. So I know the clutch stat yeah. isn't something that you want to like look at, but if a team can come up big when the moment requires it, like why not praise that? And that's what the Guardians are doing right now, and that's why they have the best record in MLB. That's yes. true. 
Yes. Dude, it's so funny how everyone was like, oh, Twins are definitely winning the division and everything like that. The Twins are like, what, fourth. Six, and, 6 and 11? Yeah, fourth, six and fourth, fourth in the division. Yeah. That's a beautiful transition it's into hilarious. the MLB discussion. Let's take hey. a look at the broader MLB picture yeah. Absolutely. around yeah. the league. As we say, the Twins are not doing too well no, right now. They're sitting at, at 6 and 11. That. You know, the White Sox are the only team below them in the American League Central Division. Well, Guardians on top, but our run differential, that's mm -hmm. another huge statistic right now. Yeah. Second best in the league, yes. sitting at plus 37. Mm -hmm. The Royals are in front of us at plus 40, but yeah. we got a game on them in the division. That's a series I'm looking forward to when that one rolls around. The Royals year. and Guards will be a good one. Yes. Because the Yankees, the Yankee series was a tough one because it was. But at least we we squeaked able out to, what I was going to say two be games one being able to one. being exactly. able to not get swept. Yep. Uh, yep. Back to my is point. Really good. Yep. You're right, not getting swept, but mm -hmm. they were in it. There was a they call were. against Florio that the the umps did yep. not give us at yeah. all. No. And it went viral yeah. all over Twitter because it's so hard to beat the Yankees mm -hmm. late in the game, especially when the refs are giving them calls yes. like that. I'm just yeah. Like, it was very bad. I yeah. think sticking with the Yankees, the AL East is a monster Always of a division is. right now. They Always are is. a yeah. true... Their worst team is the Red Sox, and they're still 10 and 10. Yep. Like, that... The Orioles are on, like, a four-game win streak right now. They... That division right now is the division to beat. Yeah. Uh, the National League Central is a close second. Yes. Their lowest placed team is sitting at, uh, what did I have them down here? 480. Car is it? 474. It's the Cardinals. Cardinals yeah. at like four seventy nine nine and something. Yep. Yeah. I think, I think we are, even though I've said like the teams that we expected to be good are, are being good and the teams that we expected to be bad are being bad, I think there is a lot of, Right now, the MLB is very tight. Mm -hmm. Outside of the Rockies, the Marlins, the White Sox, who have kind of just, their seasons have already just... <laughs> their seasons they, They've over. just tanked already. <laughs> I think... The A's? The A's are doing good. Really? They have, What's their record They're like right eight, eight wins. Uh, they're like fourth in the division because the Astros only have six oh. wins and are playing really poor ball right now. Yeah. So the MLB is tight. Obviously, I think separate that'll change as the months go on. But it is only April. Yeah, it's so that early. is true. That it's is only true. April. That it's is only true. April. Uh, but right now, it's extremely interesting. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be a very fun season of baseball to watch. Yeah, because I mean, if things stay the way they are, hey, I don't know. I mean, this will be this will be very fun, especially when it comes down to like. September, October, yes. when things start getting wild card very races, important. division yeah. winner races, every game it's matters. Gonna be, yeah. It's going to be fun. It's going to be really fun. There was so. a crazy game last Sunday mm -hmm. between the Padres and the Dodgers that I was watching on ESPN. Ooh. Yes, that game was nuts. The Padres ended up pulling ahead, mm -hmm. but this this Dodgers team really hasn't gotten taken off the ground like the super yeah. team everybody they thought they were going to be. Mookie Betts has. Yeah. Mookie Betts mm -hmm. is. Being Mookie Betts, uh, but and they do have twelve wins, so like yeah. they're a great baseball. Like they're team. still they're still playing really good. But everybody thought they were going to come out the gate at like twenty and zero. So yeah. it's interesting to see the production levels from this Dodgers team. That's true. No, absolutely. Yeah. We're we'll have to keep them under a microscope. See what happens over there in L.A. Yeah, because but if they don't if they don't go, they need to go to the World Series. Like mm -hmm. minimum, oh one hundred percent. Minimum, they go to 100%. the World Series, yep. and then like. They need to win it as yep. well. This isn't a, oh, give them a year to like mm. mesh and figure it out. Like yeah. they need to succeed mm. right so now. Yep. Let's go around. Let's pick a surprise team that you guys think is going to make a run this MLB season. <sighs> Man. Last week, I think I said the Orioles. So I could stick with them. But if I want to say someone different, honestly... I hate to pick a division rival, but I got to go with the Royals. I was the Royals are looking that's who I was really thinking. good right so now. So I'll, I'll think of someone else, but yeah. you go in your Royals tangent. The Royals, man, I did not expect them to play this good. I mean, they're kind of like the <laughs> – have you guys seen those memes where it's like the the uh, the team of friendship yeah. or the power, power of friendship? friendship? Yeah. yeah. I feel like that's what the Royals are doing right now. And honestly, I could see them pulling off like a, a 2021 Guardians where they, you know – get in the wild card yeah and they have, you a, know, bit have a legit series with the yankees yeah i could see the royals being that kind of team i don't know it'll be it'll be interesting but hey 
like you guys said, it is still April, so we'll have to see. Yes. But what do you guys think? Do you have? I'm gonna go National League. I'm gonna take the Pirates. Okay. Pirates. I think, uh, okay. And I hate to there say this, go. but a role as Chapman's fitting in decent he over is. there in Pittsburgh. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he got like suspended. I just like his role really? on the team. So yeah. like I think he's helping with Conrad. having a closer that can throw 100 miles an hour. Yeah. Even if he's a it little helps. bit on the older mm -hmm. side, it helps. It helps. Your it, team. it helps. It does. It does. Yeah. I mean that's why the Guardians are doing well with Class, Class A. a. Yeah. He's like incredible. Yeah. 34 wins from being the Guardians all-time saves leader. Yeah. Fifth place right now. He's, I mean, he's definitely getting up there. If I had to pick a surprise team, I mean, I think m my problem is just there's so many, like, the Giants are playing fine. Mm -hmm. The Diamondbacks are playing fine. Mm -hmm. But, like, I'm, I think Giants and Diamondbacks are going to be kind of my two, where I'm waiting for them to just explode and just go on an absolute tear, and then we're like, well, Giants are a three seed, Giant, or Diamondbacks are a two seed. I think they are a, a pot that is boiling right now. So those are kind of my, my two picks, I would have to say. Well, we're gonna have a lot more picks to talk about here in a minute because yeah. coming up, we'll take a look at the Cavs matchup against the Magic yes. and talk some NBA playoffs. And welcome back. It's Cavs time, guys. We got the NBA playoffs here. Cavs versus Magic on Saturday. How are you guys feeling heading into the opening round of the playoffs? As Dude, we finish up the play-in tournament Yeah, tonight. as we finish up, I am very excited to see some Cavs basketball back in the playoffs. Uh, last year's playoffs, dude, it was so hard to watch. It, very, it left a sour taste in my mouth watching this team because it's like, oh, you know, they're going to be great in the regular season, and then once they get to the playoffs, it's just going to all fall apart. Um, as Jared Allen said, the lights were too bright. Which he actually, they interviewed him um, about that comment. Yeah, he and down. he said, but no, he, he was really like, care. no, it's okay. I don't really, yeah, you know, yeah, I don't really regret care. saying yeah. that. And then he like joked around and he said like, oh, I've said worse things before yeah. in my life. I thought that was hilarious. I love Jared Allen, by the way. There's love that, Jared Allen. There's, a, there's that one yeah. video of him playing the jazz this season. He got a three second paint violation. Oh, and the he Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the arena's dead quiet. And everyone's like, what is up with this guy? <laughs> I've, Our team I've, celebrates I've, those. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as as a mm -hmm. non-Cavs guy, I've always been a big fan of Jared Allen since Brooklyn because yeah. I I'm under the belief that one of the worst decisions in sports was breaking up the D'Angelo Russell, Karis LeVert, Jared Allen, Kenny Atkinson coached Nets team for the Kevin Durant, Kyrie, but. I'll get into that uh, <laughs> <laughs> way, so way down the line. Uh, Cavs Magic is a very interesting matchup mm -hmm. because I'm under the belief that the Cavs tanked to get this matchup. Don't they even get me started. I was at that game. Could have fan appreciation night was a bust. Yeah, could have <laughs> beat the Hornets easily. Can, can yeah. I can I pause you right there? May Go I? Ahead. So the JB Bickerstaff is coaching for his life here, yep. and he decides to celebrate fan appreciation night by turning it into a Cleveland Cavaliers G League game? I mean, it was a charge game. Yeah. I watched Damani Bates and not Evan Mobley, Isaiah Mobley, Isaiah the older Mobley. brother, tear it up for three and a half quarters, and then they fell apart in the fourth because the Hornets decided to play their starters. Mm -hmm. We could have avoided Boston until the Eastern Conference Final. Now, yes. as the four seed, we're going to have to match up as the one or the eight mm -hmm. if they win. I was going to say, if they can get past the Magic. Yeah. I see the Magic as a, they are a young hungry, dangerous team. Now, I wish the NBA thought that because when it comes down to primetime scheduling, they really did not care about Paolo, the magic. No, Paolo, Bancaro, Paolo Bancaro is like the most overlooked NBA star. Mm -hmm. he, he has put up rookie and sophomore numbers that go alongside uh, LeBron, yeah. like statistically, and he, him and his magic get zero attention for it. They're a five seed. They're, they're like five, five and above, five, four, three, two, one are, like those are the top five teams. Like that they should be respected way more. Now, I did look at some numbers. If you look at the Magic's team stats, they are not good. They rank 15th or below they rank bottom 20 in most statistical categories oh so goodness. if you're a numbers guy and you're looking you should say Cavs in four yeah. but i 
I disagree. Yeah. Uh, I'm under the belief. I think the Magic are going to take this series. Really? Momentum, momentum's yes. a thing, and the Cavs oh have none gosh. of this. Absolutely none of it. We're falling apart momentum-wise. It's really going to be which team shows up for the yeah. Cavaliers. I I saw a tweet the other day, and um, or it was an article, and um, I saw that the Cavs during their run-throughs and practices, they're playing more physical. And I feel yeah. like that's what maybe they didn't do last season. Yeah. And they were like, oh, shoot, like, wait a minute, we forgot to play basketball for him. Well, Jamie, Jamie Bickerstaff's coaching for his spot in Cleveland. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. didn't seem like it in that last game. Nope. Thanks and for appreciating the fans. Yeah. Giving us a nice last game. And Donovan Mitchell, <laughs> even if he's not going to be a Cav next season, mm-hmm. he's playing to, like, because yeah. if he has a good playoff run, that. Because there's a difference between resting your starters and benching your starters, yes. JB. Yes. Have you guys seen the new uh, AI memes of where you can put faces on anybody? Yes. Yeah. Everybody's putting people yes. doing the little Yachty dance as he comes out on stage. The memes of JB Bickerstaff are hilarious. I haven't seen those ones. Oh, my goodness. I've seen, like, JB, we need a big play here. What do you got for us? And it's him doing the Fortnite dance. <laughs> yeah. That one's priceless. And then I've seen him doing yeah. uh, as Lil Yachty coming out on stage, like, I Where saw the one of uh, Paolo Bancaro okay. with that uh, Orlando Magic. With that oh, okay, just him dancing? Yeah, okay. but it's like the AI one of like him walking out on the stage and everything. Uh, wow. It's funny. But, hey, they threw up the graphics a little bit ago. We can check it out. Uh, the other playoff matchups going on in the NBA. Great call. What do you yes. guys think? Because I feel like, I feel like this NBA playoffs is going to be really tight, especially in the first round. Like, okay, Celtics are definitely taking the Bulls or the Heat. I feel like. Yeah, what's your Eastern Conference final predictions? My Eastern Conference finals? I got Celtics Bucks, and I'm taking Celtics Celtics over the Bucks. I don't feel like Doc Rivers can coach the Bucks all the way to the ECF. I don't know. Especially with Giannis. I don't know, but then look at. Yeah, that's true. That is true. (laughs) But, and then you look at Giannis' injury, though, and if he's like not 100%, I don't feel like the Bucks have a chance. Dame Lillard, though. Dame hasn't been looking that good he, with the Bucks. Wait till we get to the postseason. That's true. Game. That is different true. Game. That is true. Is That's it? Like I'm not like Bucks. first round, first round, perennial first round exit Portland Trailblazers. Perennial and Dame first round exit. I oh. so I I have all of this uh, written out on my little sheet of paper. <laughs> uh, drew a little bracket. So Bulls are beating the Heat. Mm-hmm. They don't have Jimmy Butler. Uh, and I have like a one or two word summation of each series and how I think it's going to go. So I'll be very quick. I don't want to take too much of your time. Uh, <laughs> I want to take Bulls heat, no Butler. Easy. Okay. Bulls win that one. Uh, Celtics Bulls, star power. Celtics sweep the Bulls. Uh, Cavs magic. I have not reaching potential for the Cavs. Uh, and I can't ma- magic, that. magic I can't in six. Uh, Bucks Pacers overpower Giannis if he yeah. plays they're just gonna bully ball them uh, Bucks and six mm-hmm. Knicks 76ers coming up short once more for the 76ers I have the Knicks in seven Wow okay Knicks. Uh, Knicks Bucks Philly's the favorite by the way I yeah. <laughs> this this Knicks team this Knicks team the seven they have over the two. they have That's the to Eastern do it right now. It, Eastern Conference is an absolute mess. Yeah. Uh, Bucks, Knicks. I have Knicks in seven. Back to back seven. Two words. Wow. Two words. Summation. Who do you think Thibodeau is. Two man? words. Who do you two words. Two words. Summation. Doc Rivers. Doc <laughs> Rivers. <laughs> 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 Hey, Celtics, no, nice. Celtics Magic, I have Celtics in five, gentlemen, sweep. Um, okay. There's just, it's more star power. Right. Yeah. Uh, and then I have too much star power, Celtics in six. Uh, they are going to the oh, NBA Finals okay. once more. That, that's who did you have for ECF? Celtics in who? Celtics versus Celtics the, the Knicks, Knicks, and I have the Celtics really? over the Knicks. Celtics in six. That's a valid pick. Yes. Um, <sighs> on the west side, I've got Mavs Nuggets. Mavs taking out the Denver Nuggets, mm-hmm. the defending champs, That's yeah. and the Western Conference That's Final. Yeah. Dallas Mavericks, NBA champs in six games. What? Against, the, against we, the Celtics? Yes. Kyrie versus yes. his old team? Yes. That would, yes. That would actually yep. be – I, I would Luka's like to see gonna that. I think going to win a ring. I think Luka and Kyrie have been playing incredible. I think that it could happen this year. The conferences are wow. very beatable on both sides. Mm. And, Dude. Uh, we'll see. As we look at the other <sighs> matchups here, it's going to be pretty crazy. I mean – the Clippers, it's mm-hmm. going to be a good matchup for them. And then as they it's advance like the third past time pl- there. third time playing the Mavericks. Yeah, they'd have to get through the Suns. Because I think the Timberwolves, I don't think they're going to beat the Suns. I don't like yeah. picking against Kevin Durant. That's a 3-6 matchup I can no, see. No, I going. agree. 
in favor of the six yeah. there. Well, like what Maddox said last week, with the Suns, you don't know which type of team you're going to see. Yeah. You know, if you're going to see the part where it's like, oh, KD's playing like his old self, takeover mode, mm -hmm. or you're going to see the Suns team that's just kind of mid. And yep. I personally, I would take Anthony Edwards and Carl Anthony Towns over the Suns right now. So, okay. If I we'll may, if I yeah. may. Now uh, with the Western Conference. Yeah, if I may. Maddox is uh, one-liners. Kings, Pelicans, Kings, yep. no Zion. Yes. So it's injuries yes. in both play-in games. Yep. Uh, one eight, Thunder Kings. I have the Thunder in six depth. Yeah. Thunder are such a deep team. Yep. Uh, Clippers, Mavericks, Clipper, Killer, Luka. It's just what he does. Mm -hmm. uh, I have the Mavs in six. Yeah. Timberwolves, Suns. I have Suns in seven. Uh, experience versus inexperience. Okay. That's a Anthony good Edwards That's and good Carl Anthony Towns are not playoff veteran guys. Gobert and Conley ha are. Play in veterans, though. That's true. Play in. Uh, <laughs> stand Pat stand yes. up now yeah. and face the sun. Uh, okay. Stand uh, up okay. now and face the sun. Suns, Kevin Durant and Devin Booker are playoff veterans at this point, Espe mm -hmm. like, especially KD. Nuggets, Lakers, uh, I have Nuggets in five. Jokic, mm. it's my one word. Hey, Jokic. Lakers want all the smoke, though. They don't care. They, they ain't do. hiding from nobody. No, they, not. If you're not seeing Lakers fans on the internet, though. They literally <laughs> are freaking <laughs> out. They put up picture perfect defense, and that last second of the shot, gosh, Jokic is just, just throwing it up, yeah. and it's hitting. Yeah. So, so that would uh, be crazy. What was yeah. your one word there? Uh, Jokic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just uh, <laughs> staying in the bottom, I have Nuggets, uh, Nuggets, Suns, Nuggets in five. Mm. Okay. Jokic. Uh, Thunder Mavs. <laughs> I have Thunder in six. Thunder Mo beating the Mavs. Yeah, interesting. More depth. Okay. It's just still depth. Uh, and then I have Nuggets beating the Thunder uh, in seven. Jokic. Okay. It's just wow. that's all they need. They so then you got a Boston versus Denver <laughs> final, like we talked about yes. last week. Boston One versus Denver. two. So it was what it was supposed to be, but the Thunder snuck in and took the that one snuck seed in, in the took West. Seed. Thunder so. You got a still ver a one versus a two yes. now, mm. and what is your finals prediction? Uh, I have the Nuggets going back to back nice. uh, mm. in six games. My one word: He's standing on business. Jokic, from last week. Uh, wow. it's Jokic Finals MVP. Yeah. I think we see like Chiefs go back to back. Yep. UConn goes back to back. Yeah. Nuggets go back to back. Yeah. I hope. Uh, the Rangers don't go back to back because it'll be, it'll be a very boring uh, year in sports if we just have all repeat champions. If the yeah. Cleveland Guardians make the playoffs, this will be the first time ever. That all in three the same year: Guardians, yep. Cavs, and Browns will have made the playoffs. That That's, would so be sick. 2024 that would be cool. Would be something special if the Guardians yeah. can make a playoff run. Dude, oh, even yeah. if we just make the wild card, I'd be happy. But. Because I was oh. so bummed. Steven with no Vogt's got to win the division in his first year, guys. It could Come happen. Hey, 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 division, you never know. Stop there, but you, you know what? Know. One game at a time, boys. Yep. Yeah. One game at a time. That's but very true. I, uh, I have Jokic also winning Western Conference Finals MVP because it introduced those. I have Jalen Brown winning Eastern Conference Finals MVP. Jalen Brown over Tatum? I think, I don't know. I just, That's I think Tatum, Tatum is going to run through the Bulls. He's going to run through the Magic. And then I think, like, for some reason against the Knicks, Jalen Brown yeah. is just gonna like go Absolutely. crazy and you just really? kinda you just kinda gotta give it to him. Uh, wow. but yeah, that's my full mm. NBA playoff bracket prediction. It'll be broken wow. in the first series, but wow. who cares? It'll be broken the first series. All right guys, well I I for one am taking for West and East, Celtics are coming out of the East, I feel like. But I feel like it's going to be the Sixers and the Celtics for the ECF. Okay. I don't know. Because I feel like Joel Embiid, dude, you got to – he is not and finishing the process. The, series at the, seventh the seed, process. Why not? Yeah, I'm not trusting the process right now. It's like and Penn State coming into the MAC turn. That's you real. Took out the two seed. Yeah. I mean, we took out the one seed. Yeah. But, like, you're now the, exactly. now the two seed. Yeah. yeah. I Their feel opening is the favorites against yeah. the Knicks. I could see it. Yeah, I it feel could. like the Sixers need to get something – going for them again. Okay. Um, I feel like if they don't win the finals this year, I feel like you got to figure out, okay, what do you do with Embiid? Because yeah. you have Embiid yeah. and you have him locked down for a little bit, but it's like, do you keep trusting the process? I don't know. Or do you just completely rebuild? Because I feel like if you're a Sixers fan, you're tired of seeing, oh, yo, we're going to win the finals. Come short in like the playoff second round, Eastern Conference finals. So then who you I don't got know. In the West. Interesting. Yeah. In the West, oh, the Los Angeles Lakers, L.A. Ah. LeBron <laughs> is going to get another ring. That's all I have to say. Well, uh, that's all, all right. I got to say. Solid pick there. Yep. And I think we're now ready to jump over into NHL. Mm -hmm. Yes. Playoffs. Yes. 
We got. It's all about the playoffs. It's so here. many. There's so many playoffs. Playoffs. Yeah. We just got done with March Madness. Mm -hmm. We're NBA, NHL, and then by the time NBA and NHL playoffs are done, we're going to be getting close to like the end of the MLB season, or mm -hmm. like at least like past the halfway point of it. Yeah. It is, and then like it's it's just an endless cycle of yep. it's sport, and it's amazing. But yeah, NHL uh, NHL postseason. Uh, what do you got? Oh, I still it's rough, but this is looking like one of the best years for Canada ever to bring home a cup in recent memory. They got four teams in the postseason mm -hmm. this year. Absolutely nutty, folks. And my very way too early predictions as we start the playoffs is actually that I think it's going to come home this year. I think Connor McDavid's going to pull it in with Edmonton this year. Ooh, okay. Uh, so I actually have Edmonton getting bounced in the first round. Uh, wow. The beauty of sports. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So uh, I don't have it coming home. I have it going to a team that had a very good postseason run last season. Uh, I have it going to the Carolina Hurricanes. Oh, no. <laughs> Not Jake Gensel being traded Not from the Jake. Penguins to the Hurricanes and winning a cup. Yeah. Uh, Did you guys see what happened with Pittsburgh, by the way? How close things were to them making the playoffs? Between them and the Red Wings? Yes. Uh, yes. And so, real quick, just Detroit gave up a goal or scored a goal to force overtime with three seconds left. And then because of that, over on the other side, you've got a tie game, and the Flyers pull their goalie with Empty three netter. minutes to go. Empty netter with three minutes. Like, Absolutely it just didn't make miserable. sense. Absolutely miserable. Like, Torts is going to Torts over there, being the head coach of the Flyers, former <laughs> head coach of the Blue Jackets, Blue Jackets down in Columbus, and former for a reason. Former so. for a reason. Um, <laughs> Back oh, to what man. you were saying now. So. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, who do you got? Who do you have winning the cup? Because I again, the Anaheim Ducks. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> They're not even in. Quack quack, um, Mr. Ducksworth. Hey, yes. quack quack. I'm not like you guys. I don't follow hockey that much. Um, so I don't know. The Hurricane does sound like a good pick. They do sound because they made it deep last season. They made they? it. They, I think they made it pretty far last season. I think it would be poetic justice for the Penguins. Almost making a playoff push after trading. You're gonna, you're gonna yeah. give Gabe an Everyone aneurysm. Was so ready. Gabe is, yeah. We finally <laughs> traded away mm. someone and are doing better without him. It yeah. usually goes the other way around. Yeah. Then the Penguins miss the playoffs by just a slim margin, <laughs> and here goes Jake Gensel. He's gonna go ahead and win the cup for the Hurricanes. I could see it. Yeah. So, so I, I also have uh, my little. That would be an awesome story. Yeah. No. Not for Penguins Not for fans. Pittsburgh. <laughs> Not for Pittsburgh fans. <laughs> Carolina, they'd be, <laughs> they'd be like, like, okay, like, this is the great, and they greatest trade yeah, franchise passed. history. Yeah. So, oh. uh, <laughs> That'd be funny. I, I also have a bracket. Uh, I don't have it as detailed. <laughs> as you don't have one-liners? No, I don't have one-liners for this one. I don't know hockey as well as I know ball. Uh, <laughs> just very quickly, uh, Stars, Vegas. Vegas winning it all last year. Now they're a wild card team. What the heck is up with that? Mm. Like, I thought they would be the next, like, big dynasty kind of thing and they've kind of struggled oh, a lot this season which means I have them getting bounced in the first round to the Dallas Stars the wow. Stars I was looking up player stats just to see like how everyone did because like Austin Matthews scored like 69 goals and stuff like that nice the the Stars are just such like a team team they don't have any player that ranks like crazy high in like goals or anything but they're just so well-rounded. They just kill death by a thousand paper cuts. Over, mm -hmm. under, a half a fight for the New York Rangers in the postseason in that first round. Against the Capitals? Mm, over, under, half a yeah. fight. Uh, I think we see... I'm taking the over, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, just locking it Throughout the whole series? Yeah. yeah I give, I give a fight. them, we're like, seeing a fight. two. The Rangers? Yeah. yeah, okay, good, good. I might have set a black line there, folks. A whack line. The over on that. <laughs> Rangers scrapping all season. Rangers are going to continue to scrap. I think they sweep the Capitals. Wow. The Capitals. <sighs> Negative differential and oh, you. Ovechkin getting swept though. Yes, but you. That's what I absolutely. The Blue Jackets were going to do, and then we got reverse swept four two, and Ovi wins his first cup. Mm. But it's <laughs> like shout out Brian Sears. Didn't let me in your apartment. We lost. No. Uh, <laughs> you can't sit here and say like the. The Capitals snuck into the postseason. They have a worse, they have less wins than the Red Wings, who mm. didn't make the playoffs. They got in off of points, yeah. like uh, hockey points. It was messy. So I just not the soccer player. I do not. not I do not think they are like built for the postseason. I think the Rangers are going to sweep them. Uh, I think the Avalanche beat the Jets in five. That's kind of like I think it's a seeded up. 
hockey seating is weird because it, it's yeah. not like NBA where it's like one eight. It's it's really weird. Uh, Canucks, I have them beating the Predators in five, but I could see the Canucks losing that. They've been a little. Ever since the post All Star break, they have been very shaky. Um, and back to your Oilers pick, I have the Kings beating the Oilers in seven, uh, which would be an upset. Yeah. That'd be nuts. That's mm. outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go, I know. I know it's outrageous, but I, I have it happening. Uh, I have the Panthers beating the Lightning, which the Lightning are finally vanquished. The battle for Florida. Mm. The battle. That we might see like three fights that series. <laughs> mm. They're just going to be beating the crap out of each other the entire time. The it's chase for the Stanley Cup is truly special. It's going to be electric. Uh, but Hurricanes, I have the Hurricanes taking it all in the end. Wow. Mm. Gotta love the postseason time of year for Absolutely. the other sports it like is. basketball and hockey. Dude. That playoff just pushes something special. When it's it a beautiful to time to be it's a sports su- It's such an electric atmosphere. Yeah. So. We're going to take another quick break, and when we come back on Overtime, we'll once again take a look at some of the career paths and guess the player. And we are back on (laughs) Overtime, ready to take a look at the career paths and try to guess the player. Yes. Guys, how are you feeling going into this one? Well, we got one right last time, which is more than what we got the show before. So, you know what? Maybe we'll get two. Uh, Baby steps. Work work it, work it up. Let's see. Roll it, Gabe. Okay. Right. A Broncos Chargers. receiver. NFL wide receiver a drafted Charger. by the Broncos, and then the Chargers, and then the Bears. Oh, Lord. A Bears wide receiver in 2015, 2016. Mm. Uh, who were on the Broncos during Shoot. the 08, 11 years? Uh, it's not. Hmm. Uh, it's not DT. Um, Dude, I know more hmm. uh, Chargers, running backs, and cornerbacks. Who, would, but like, who was Philip Rivers throwing to in 2012 and 2014? Keenan Allen. Uh, I don't know. I Ooh, Keenan Allen was on the Bears. Well, well th- this is way too far back. Uh, Joshua Palmer, no. Uh, hmm. Gerald Everett's a tight end. Um, I don't know. I don't know this one. I didn't one. follow any of these teams at that point. I do time, not. So I do I not know this one. I was going to be a wide receiver that's more like a tight end. We're 0 for three. What do you got for us, Gabe? Eddie, Eddie Royal. Royal. Don't know who that's that is. Name I haven't heard in a while. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know who that is. Did like, not know that one. <laughs> yeah, quite frankly, don't know who that is. Quite well, frankly. let's see if we improve on the next one. Here we go. Who is this player? Oh, Maddox Lions. Lions. receiver. 2020. Oh, he was a 2020 Lion. One year with the Lions. Lion wide receiver. One year stays. One year with the Patriots. Bengals, Falcons. They love picking wide Patriots, receivers. Lions. It's because they have long career. Like, mm-hmm. they can play for a lot of teams. Running backs play for, like, two teams maybe, and then – they're just like done. Quarterbacks stick with their teams for a long time, so I get why they pick. And why, like, we're not gonna sit here and guess offensive tackles that played for like the Washington Commanders. Yeah. Um. Anyways. Lions. Patriot Niners. Hold on. Okay, it's not Danny Amendola, even though he did play for the Lions and the Patriots. Uh, yeah, because Amendola was there for too long in New England. Yeah. Not um, done. Okay, Kenny Dude, Galladay. I got no clue. Kenny Galladay played for the Giants. He's retired. Uh, Tom Kennedy is. I asked Gabe this week to give me more niche Cleveland Indians baseball players, and he's given us two NFL. Yeah, wide two receivers. NFL. I'm over two. Uh, I'm gonna. Too. I'm gonna. Oh, we get a hint. Okay. A perfect career oh, passer. Oh, interesting. So he threw the ball. Interesting. Who was a 2012-2015 Cincinnati Bengal? It's hmm. not Marvin Jones because he went and played for. It's it not Gold. It's not. It's not it's Golden Tate. Tate. Wow. Uh, I'm gonna go with Tom Kennedy, even though I don't think it's correct. Let's see. Who do we oh. got? Oh, Mohamed Sanu. Okay. I have no idea who that is. I no. <laughs> I, no. <laughs> do you I, know? Yes, I know who I know who Muhammad Sanu is. Uh, I forgot he played for the Lions. When I think Falcon Lion, I think of Desmond Trufant. When I think Patriot Lion, I think of Trey Flowers. Uh, when I think of Bengal Lion, I think of Marvin Jones. So, you know, <laughs> Marvin Jones. 
Oh, yes. oh okay. let's go. Right, right, Reds, MLB Cook. center Tribe. fielder. He was with the he Indians for, for one year. One season. He played for three teams in 2016. <laughs> Played for the Braves, that's Rangers, crazy. and Orioles all in 2016. That's that's a crazy. You played for the Tribe in 2013. Okay, so we already talked about 2013 Cleveland Indians. They had yeah. Jason Giambi that year. Clearly. Yeah. So the year that we had Giambi hit the walk off. Which we did we did confirm over the break. It was Jason Giambi who it did was. hit the walk off. Yeah. Um, oh, for one season, gosh, what? that's a tough one. I'm still stuck. Uh, I don't know baseball like this. Mm, uh, I feel like Greg Allen was here for too long. And no, Greg Allen, well. he was on the team, I think, like in recently. the 16, 17 yeah, seasons. A, who's a Rocky for two years Gosh. as center fielder? What position did been, Nick okay, Swisher so play? 20, 2007, the Rockies beat us or won the World Series on the other side, and we would have had Boston mm -hmm. not pulled it out. I got nothing. How many years was the Nick Swisher? And they were a Ranger in 2015. A brave, and then went back to the Rangers. Hear the name and be happy, though. Hmm. Let's see. Who is it? Drew, Drew Stubbs. Stubbs. I lied. I don't remember Drew Stubbs. No. Yeah. I don't know that one. I don't Since know he why, was only on the tribe for one season, too. That's a tough one. Well, you one. got your, your niche. Okay. Right, who do we got? Okay. Uh, oh, wait. They were on the 15 An team. Outfielder and second baseman. And here's another Indians to Rockies. Wait, what the heck? They played in 2004, had a, had a three-year gap, and then came back in 2007 t till 2012 for the Tigers. That's, that's weird. That that's a weird point? thing to do. Well, if they played outfield and second baseman, because Kipnis was our second baseman in 16, wasn't he? Well, he wasn't he on the 16 team. team. But he wasn't oh, bad. oh, 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 oh. Um, uh, no. Is it? Has Drupal Cabrera that won the, with the Washington Nationals? No. No. Nope. Ah. Uh, is it? Wait. No. Cause Ronnie Belliard? Outfielder. Indians Nationals. I but I don't. Know. I didn't think we got Ronnie Belliard from the Tigers. I'm thinking of our 16 team, it. but that wouldn't work it. because I don't it's 15. Know. Yeah, I don't know either. Ryan, Ryan Rayburn. Rayburn. It's a name I haven't heard in a while either. Me neither. Huh. Wow. Man, you went too niche, Timmy. Yeah. You said yeah. you, oh, you oh, asked oh, we got another. Oh, oh, we got shoot. another. We got another. Oh, NBA. NBA oh, yeah. small forward. Here, Here we go. go. This is a journeyman if I've ever seen. Magic, Grizzlies, Okay, two thousand. So three years with the Magic. Uh, five years with. I know who it is. Do you actually? I'm pretty sure. Birdman. Chris Anderson? It's not? No, because Because I saw Heat yeah. and Cavs. Yeah, but he would have been on the championship Heat team in, in or on the 2014 oh, roster. Oh, during the... I think but Birdman so, was on the, but Gabe said it wasn't. Oh, okay, yeah, because they missed it. Uh, Matt, he okay, he's, he's not a small forward. Oh! Um, wait, I don't know. It, no, because James, was it James Jones? No. It was one of the... James Jones, uh, I think, played for the Suns as well. Uh, okay, I need to, 14, one year with the Magic, on one year with the cap. Wizards. He, it's not Ish Smith because he didn't play for the Pistons. Uh, he didn't play for 2014, the 2015 Cavs. We can get this one. A 15 to who? 17 All right, nugget? wait, we got to think of who mm -hmm. went to the Heat, won a championship, and then came and back. And then came back with LeBron. LeBron. Yeah. No, 14, 15 is the LeBron. first LeBron. Yeah, that is with LeBron. He was, yeah, he was... Uh, in the first year of LeBron coming back. It's not, is it Sean Livingston? No, because he played no. for the Warriors. Um, or not Sean Livingston, um, Sean Marion. Is it Sean Marion? No yeah. way. Let's see. Did we get a game? It's, it's not, not Sean, Sean Marion? <laughs> oh, I thought it was. I heard, I heard a yell and I was like, oh, did we get it? No. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, let, me, let me keep cooking because we can get this one easy. Small forward, small forward. Especially on the Cavs. For the I'm trying to think. I, I'm sure it isn't. Electric three-point shooter. Electric three-point shooter. Oh! Dion Waiters? No, wait. He no. was drafted by the Cavs. Dion Waiters did not play for the 2000 to 2003 no. Orlando Magic. Uh, I'm trying to think it's of not Kyle Korver because he didn't play for the and Hawks. And it was a small forward. Electric shooter. But they were – so it's like it's not J.R. Smith. It's not Kyle Korver. It's not J.J. Redick. It's not uh, – 
I'm trying to think of people who not Alonzo G. No. It's not. I'm over five. It's not Ray either. Allen. It's not. No. It's not Mario Chalmers. No. It's not. Uh, even though Chalmers was an electric shooter. Um, Hold on, it's hold on. It's not, Jose no. it's not Jose Calderon. We can get it. The we can get it. He's not small for oh, Shoot. Uh, uh, I don't know Delonte ball. West. I don't know ball. Delonte West. Nah. I don't know it. I don't. <laughs> that would have been funny. Wait, say that again. Mike Miller? Mike Miller. The one shoe is what brought you back. Yeah, because it was in the finals. Because because he he had it off and he just he was just running back and forth oh, and he just hit, he shot a three. I forgot. He played the Spurs Mike, in the dude, finals. So, oh, so cool. I forgot Mike Miller was a Cav. Oh my god. I didn't know he was a Cav. That's yeah. why I was so confused. Because oh, I only know him as a as a Heat man. Yeah. Uh, That's wild. Sometimes I think of him and Chris Anderson like. I don't know why, but in my head, I like assimilate them as the same person. We got one. 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 We did. That was a good one. Hey, if we I get more NBA ones in, we, we <laughs> might be able to cook with those. Oh, that was fun. That well, was fun, guys. I think that's going to do it for this episode I think of so. Overtime, gentlemen. I think so. Be sure to turn in next week as we have one episode left this semester. One. And have a great day. Thanks for watching. For now, I'm Timmy Carlisle. Josh Aponte. Maddox Miller. Take care, everybody.